Tennessee Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome to the weekend. It's going to be a weekend of two seasons, one being spring tomorrow, the other one back to winter on Sunday. But at least the good news, we're going to see the sun again unabated for Sunday afternoon and mostly sunny skies for Monday, Tuesday, and maybe a little part of Wednesday of next week. So that'll cheer us up, but it's back to jackets and sweaters after tomorrow. So let's take a look at the big picture up across the high plains, the upper northwest. Boy, they got blizzard warm warnings going. Not much snow, but enough to really whip things up. And with blizzard warnings, it's cold temperatures and it's strong winds that reduce visibilities. And then you got plain old snow across the rest of Minnesota into Wisconsin, all the way up to Chicago, and then a trailing frontal boundary that goes all the way back through Texas. That's what we'll be watching here locally. Those showers gradually moving our way. Most of the higher rain chances staying off to our north with this one, but we have some pretty good rain chances. A few spotty showers possible overnight tonight, and then a few during the day tomorrow. But rain chances, even though I got 60% for tomorrow, it's among the going to be for tomorrow evening when that front gets here and following the front on the Doppler radars locally. It's pretty quiet. Few spotty showers over toward Point Coupe Parish and then by Lake Marapa and uh, Lake Pontchartrain and uh, just to the east of Baton Rouge and east of Gonzales, but not a whole lot going on this evening at this time. Now the NAM model has been a little extra boisterous, indicating that there's going to be a little bit more in the way of shower activity developing as we head into the overnight hours as essentially a warm front is going to try to move northward really can't draw one on here, so it's so nebulous. And with that warm front, we might even see some fog developing. Got fog right along the immediate coastline and may try to work its way inland, but uh, we're not going to go too hard on the fog forecast. Then tomorrow morning, uh, mostly cloudy skies, few showers, maybe in a rumble of thunder up toward the Mississippi River in the northeastern part of the state and then across eastern portions of Louisiana. Uh, but most of the day, you can see not much green showing up here, but I think we'll see a little bit more activity than and what the model is indicating, especially as this frontal boundary works its way southward. Here we are at five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and then roughly by this time tomorrow night, that front will be crossing the area. There'll be some scattered showers and even a few showers that follow the front up until about midnight or so. And thereafter, as we head towards Sunday morning, lingering clouds early, but we'll be back to mostly sunny skies, breezy and much cooler temperatures with highs only in the low to mid fifties. And there's going to be a wind chill factor Sunday into Monday morning. It's certainly going to feel like winter once again. Here's the bigger picture on the Euro model. So we start chilly on Sunday. We stay that way for Monday, Tuesday as well. Clouds on the increase Wednesday in our next weather maker coming in. It looks like a late Thursday, Thursday night into early Friday. And depending on the model that you look at, there could be a heavy rain threat and maybe a slight severe weather risk. So those are the things we'll be watching. That's going to be our next real weather system to watch in the near term tonight. Mild indeed temperatures holding in the mid to upper 60s. Then tomorrow we'll get into the mid to maybe the upper 70s. Then comes the cool air spilling in overnight tomorrow night as we head into Sunday morning. Upper 30s, lower 40s wind chills in the mid to upper 30s. So it's certainly going to feel like winter, but we've seen cold around here. But this is going to be a little shock after such a mild first few weeks of January. And then Sunday afternoon temperatures only in the low to mid 50s for your high and even colder Sunday night into Monday morning. So tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. You can see rain chances not too high. They perk up by tomorrow evening. Temperatures top out in the mid 70s, then down into the 50s. Could see a light freeze or certainly a frost as we go into Monday night. So we're going to have to take care of the plants and pets at least for a couple of nights. And again, perhaps Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then that next weather system coming in late Thursday or Friday. Timing still up in the air and it could deliver several inches of rain. And as we mentioned, there could be a severe weather element to that system as well. All right, we'll be watching it. Okay. Thanks, Rob.